Scott, the nation's top financial regulators have identified more than a dozen vulnerabilities in the financial system with real estate and digital assets posing the top risks. The Financial Stability Oversight Council, in its report released with a, uh, an annual meeting that just ended moments ago, it highlights commercial real estate as the top risk right now, noting its role in the 2008 financial crisis, but also noted, noting that delinquencies in that space are currently relatively low. Even so, regulators say declining property values, decreased cash flow, and rising defaults could cause credit losses and the failure of some small and medium-sized banks. Senior officials said they are monitoring that situation closely. On the residential front, FSOC warns that a, quote, sharp decrease in home prices could negatively affect homeowners' net wealth, weaken consumer confidence, and increase the likelihood or depth of a broader slowdown in the U.S. economy. Regulators previously detailed risks posed by crypto earlier this year, but officials today said FTX has provided a shock to the system and that it reinforces the need for legislation that deals with agency authorities, the spot market for crypto assets that aren't securities, regulatory arbitrage, and addressing vertically integrated markets. Those are certainly not all of the risks regulators highlighted, but they are the ones that pose the most near-term concerns. And if there's one common theme underlying every risk that FSOC says could spill over into the system, Scott, it's leverage. Back to you. Kayla, I also see some headlines uh, regarding the administration and the uh, SPR and uh, a, perhaps a purchase in February. What more can you tell us? So the Energy Department is beginning a solicitation to start refilling the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. It is going to be looking to sign contracts to repurchase 3 million barrels for purchase beginning in February. Now, 3 million barrels is a very small amount compared to the 180 million barrels that the administration has released from these emergency reserves this year. We reported here on CNBC two weeks ago that the administration was looking at either buying to refill the reserves or potentially weighing new drawdowns from the reserves in February, depending on what markets did after that key early December series of shocks to the energy market, Scott. And it is clear that they are looking at this sustained drop in prices as an opportunity to start purchasing. Scott? Yeah.